this video I'll be sharing another BIOS update video for the Acer Nitro 5. So currently my laptop model number is AN515-58. So I'll visit Acer support web page. And if you have registered your laptop, then you just need to log in. You can see your laptop under my products. So you just click on this tab and it will reload the page for you and if you have not registered your laptop then you can search it with your laptop's model number as you can see my laptop's model number is displayed here so i'll click on this now this will give me the correct drivers or any other software related for my laptop so i'll click on bios now as you can see this is the latest bios the version is 2.10 and the release date is 1 september 2023 so i click on download once the download is completed click on open and you can copy the bios to your desktop and close all the tabs make sure you have disconnected all the peripherals connected to your laptop if your laptop's battery is low, I would recommend you to, you know, plug your laptop charger and even if it's high, just to be on safer side, plug in the charger. And once you're ready with that, double click the BIOS application. Click yes. It will do the necessary steps required. It will open an application and it will first verify your current version of your BIOS, whether your laptop supports the update version and if all these parameters are matched, then you can definitely proceed with the update. So here it's giving you a warning that says you're about to update your system firmware. Before continuing, please save your work and close all other applications. Now these are like prerequisites before performing an upgrade. As I said, disconnect any peripherals you have connected, including your USB mouse. Just use the laptop, no peripherals, all right? And once you're ready with all these things, click OK. And once everything is completed, your laptop will restart. All the necessary steps would be performed automatically. You do not need to panic even if your laptop fan starts spinning at higher speed. Just stay calm and let all the update process complete. And once your laptop restarts, you will get your Windows login screen.